There are so many people who get confused about how to do keto appropriately. So today I wanted to talk about the right way, the wrong way, and why we're so confused about it. Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Blowing Health and Wellness with Violet. The reason I make these videos is to help people understand that your mental health and physical health come together to create your overall sense of well-being. If you find these kind of videos helpful, please consider subscribing. And I wanted to let everyone know that I now have a Patreon account. The number one thing that I think causes people to be confused about how to do keto and it causes people not only to do it incorrectly, but then to be frustrated and possibly quit doing keto when they could have improved their health so dramatically is keto replacement foods. So I'm going to start off by saying I too, when I first started keto, was pulled into the, I got to find a replacement for bread. I got to find a replacement for spaghetti. I was trying to, I, want, I wanted to find a replacement for French fries. I was trying to make my ketogenic lifestyle equivalent to my regular standard American diet lifestyle. And I'm here to tell you that is a huge mistake. First and foremost, keto is about fueling your body appropriately. It's about understanding that carbohydrates and fats are both fuel sources. And if we allow ourselves to be fueled mostly by carbohydrates, we will be in metabolic trouble versus if we allow ourselves to be fueled by ketones, we will be healthier and our lives will be much easier, simpler because we will feel better, right? A healthy body helps me to have a happier life. So the first thing I want to talk about is why the replacement foods actually exist. Because I think if we understand why the replacement foods exist, then we're going to start to understand why they should be used sometimes and why they should sometimes be ignored. The first thing I'm going to say is that keto replacement foods are good to help people transition from standard diets to a ketogenic lifestyle. Why? Because we love bread. We love pasta. We lo There's some foods that we are so addicted to. When we say we love, it means I'm addicted to. And I'm, you've heard me say this before. Because I'm addicted to certain foods, it's hard for me to imagine giving them up. So when I go online, when I'm first trying to learn about keto, and I find that, oh, wow, look, I can replace my bread with a keto-friendly bread. One of the things I tried to do. Oh, look, I can replace pasta with a healthy vegetable. One of the things that I tried to do. Oh, look, I can replace French fries with different types of root vegetables that are less high in the glycemic index. Another thing that I tried to do. All of this looks amazing. And it looks like it's a solution for those of us who are so afraid, again, addicted to those carbohydrates and doesn't understand how we would, we would just not eat them. Here's the problem. Baking an ketogenic lifestyle is quite expensive. So when I did attempt to make my keto bread, one of the things that I noticed was that, first of all, buying all those ingredients, wow, the small amount of almond flour that you get for the same amount of regular flour I would have gotten for the same amount of money, wow. So it's expensive to do keto baking. But the idea being, okay, but it's an investment I'm making because it's going to help me to get through this process, right? So again, if baking this bread is going to help me to stay on track, terrific. So in the end, what I'm going to say is that if you're willing to invest the money it will take, because that's another reason that some people fall away from keto. It's expensive to bake this way. It seems like it's excessive. However, if you're willing to invest the money it takes to bake keto bread so that you can continue to have sandwiches, that's a choice that you're going to make. Although it's going to take time and effort and energy to invest in that, if it's going to help you to transition, then that's a reason for keto baked goods. If having a small snack, a keto friendly snack that you can take to a movie theater because we're in the habit of eating some kind of snack when we're watching a movie, if that's going to help you to transition, again, I'm in favor of that. So some of these keto like snacks that you have in little packages that you can take with you to a theater that help people to transition, I see the value there. But we do need to keep in mind that, that we're transitioning, right? 
keep it in mind. These habits, the habit that every time I watch a movie, I need to eat, the habit that I have to have bread at every meal is still a bad habit. It's still what's contributing to us being in an unhealthy state. When we actually look at the keto-friendly snack that you're eating, the other positive that it does is that if I'm having a really keto-friendly um, replacement for chips or a really keto-friendly replacement for bread, then, then what I'm actually doing is satisfying my desire to eat this poor quality food by eating something that's of better quality. And that's going to be good for me because what it does for me is it means that rather than have some real chips that would put me over my carbs for the day, I'm having a smaller, a smaller carb load coming in, but I'm getting the satisfaction of having felt like I ate chips. This is important because again, the more that we're able to stay on track and help my body adjust to being in ketosis, the more chance that eventually I'll be able to eat a ketogenic lifestyle without these keto-friendly transition foods. I do want to caution people though, because even in that transition, sometimes these keto-friendly foods might have anywhere from five, maybe three to, to seven grams of carbs in them. And that still could be enough to take you out of ketosis if, depending on how careful you're being in your counting of your other foods that you're eating for the day, because chances are it's not going to be the only thing you're eating for the day. And add to that, if I have two snacks, so two keto friendly snacks in a day, I could put myself over because seven and seven is 14. And then all of a sudden, any vegetables or salad that I might have eaten in that day, I'm now over. Now, the other time that a keto-friendly food could be very helpful to a situation is when we have a celebration of some sort. So again, if I'm early in my process of doing keto and I'm still transitioning, it might not occur to me to celebrate with a steak yet. So I might be looking to have a piece of cake or I might be looking to have some kind of ice cream. So having a keto-friendly version of these foods can really help you to transition, help you to celebrate this event while still keeping your carbohydrates low enough that you don't kick yourself out of ketosis. And again, if this is happening once in a blue moon, then it's not going to be problematic at all. Another reason that keto-friendly foods can be very helpful is if it happens to be that I need to travel for some reason. So whether I'm traveling a long distance or maybe I might be traveling um, to work in the morning and I don't have time for breakfast, for example, having some small keto-friendly food that I can take along with me and help tide me over until I can have a meal can be very beneficial to those who are trying to allow themselves to stay on their ketogenic path. Again, for me, this is another indication of someone who's transitioning, getting used to the whole ketogenic idea. And so they need this kind of thing to help them because if they were to stop at a restaurant or stop, they might be tempted to buy the wrong thing. This keeps them on track. I have this. I know what's in it. I know what's gonna, how it's going to affect my day, and I move forward. The other reason that I can see that keto-friendly foods could be okay is that they're the exception, not the rule. So maybe I'm absolutely fine, and I'm in ketosis, and I understand how to do keto, and I'm fine. But every occasionally, so we're talking now once in a while, I'm going to have a, some kind of food that's different. So a treat, right? I'm treat and I'm having it once in a while. And if I'm doing that, then a keto friendly treat is not a problem once in a while. This is keeping in mind that I am normally eating a very healthy ketogenic lifestyle, that I'm normally getting enough sleep, that I'm normally um, exercising enough and that normally I socialize in a way that helps me to engage my life and be the most healthy person that I can be. The reason that I'm cautious about keto-friendly foods is very simple. Keto-friendly foods do not help you to be in ketosis. That is not what helps people to be in ketosis. And the problem that I see is when most people start a ketogenic lifestyle and they're trying to understand how do you do keto, Keto-friendly foods are presented as if these are the things that you would be eating in order to do a ketogenic lifestyle. That is not true. In order to do a ketogenic lifestyle, your focus should be on whole foods. The same way that if you were going to do a paleo lifestyle, your, whole, your focus should be on 
whole foods. The same way that if you were going to do a vegetarian lifestyle, your focus should be on whole foods. Regardless of whatever lifestyle that you're doing, your focus should always be on eating whole foods. So if my focus is on eating whole foods, then all of these replacement meals, replacement, they're not necessary. I caution people against seeking out replacement meals, replacement foods, because it takes us off track of what we're actually trying to do. A ketogenic lifestyle is about learning how many carbs are in the whole foods that we eat on a regular basis and keeping the amount of carbohydrates that I eat on a daily basis under 20 grams of carbs per day. That's it. If I allow myself to keep the amount of carbohydrates that I eat on a daily basis under 20 grams of carbs or less per day, I will get into ketosis. I will be living a ketogenic lifestyle. I do not need replacement foods to accomplish that. I do feel, and the reason that I do encourage people to take a whole foods approach is because it's the healthiest way that you can do any kind of lifestyle, but especially a ketogenic lifestyle. Whole foods is going to help you to fill your body with the best quality foods. I even will take it as far as to say, buy the best quality whole food that you can afford. If you can afford organic, buy organic. If you can afford grass-fed, buy grass-fed. If you can't, then buy the quality that you can afford. The problem that I have with a lot of keto replacement foods that are packaged is that they cost more than buying real food and cooking for yourself. So the small amount of food that you're going to ingest compared to what you could purchase and eat and fuel yourself, to me, I feel like your money would be better spent buying real whole food. Does that mean that I would never purchase a keto friendly Packaged food? Of course not. Like I said, once in a while for a treat, if I think it tastes good, of course I would do that. My goal, though, is not focused on doing that. My goal is on fueling my body appropriately so that I can live long term in a healthy body that I'm happy to be living in and that I feel good and energetic so that I'm building the strongest possible body that I can have for my future. And that requires real whole natural foods. Eat a low carb lifestyle. A ketogenic lifestyle is ideal so that you can build the best possible body that you can. Keto friendly processed foods, keto friendly replacement foods that you make at home are not necessary, but they're fun. And if that's what you're using them for once in a while, go for it. Not daily. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoy these kind of videos and like to help support my channel, I do have a Patreon account. You can go to Patreon Violet Rivera. I want to thank everyone for watching Mind Blowing Health and Wellness with Violet. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I love making these videos for you guys. I'll talk to you in the next video.